Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to identify mirror planes in your plastic models. So I'm going to use the model two, which is our cube, and a piece of chalk. So if you want to grab those items so that you can follow along, it'd be beneficial, or you can just watch. So a mirror plane is simply just a plane, so that's a surface in two dimensions, that bisects a crystal such that you would have two equal but opposite sides. So just to demonstrate, my hands are showing a mirror plane. The mirror plane would be running right in between them because my hands are more or less equal but opposite of each other. If my right hand was flipped this way, then there wouldn't be a mirror plane separating my two hands. Okay, so they have to be equal but opposite. With our cube, we have many mirror planes. The most obvious ones are the ones that run through the crystal faces and also the edges. So just to recap, a crystal face is the planar surface of the crystal. The edges are the lines of which two faces meet. Then we also have corners, okay? So we want to try to find as many mirror planes as possible that bisect our crystal. So those are ones running through the faces, the edges, and also the corners. You want to use your chalk as you do this because you're not just identifying one mirror plane but all possible mirror planes that exist for this single crystal. But you want to make sure that you don't duplicate, you don't want to count the same mirror planes twice or else you're not going to be able to determine the crystal class for this crystal. So let's start. I always like to start with the obvious ones, the faces, so let's go ahead. So the first mirror plane that you can see runs through the crystal face, through the edge, and all the way around your crystal. You want to make sure you use your chalk and you want to draw the entire mirror plane in 360 degrees around your crystal so that you don't count it twice. So in this direction, we have one plane. We have a second mirror plane that is very similar to the first mirror plane, it's just in a different orientation, and it's running this way through our crystal. Okay, so now we have one, two. Now because I know that the cube has many mirror planes, I am going to start making a tally. So I'm going to put M for a mirror plane, one, two. All right, and that way we don't get confused and lose track. Because once this thing gets covered in chalk, it gets a little bit difficult. I can see I have the third mirror plane that looks very similar to the first two, and it's running through this face here. All right. Now I can double check and make sure that all of the mirror planes that are similar running through the same faces and through the edges have been counted for by looking at each face and making sure they each have two mirror planes traced on them. And they do. So that means I must have counted all three of those mirror planes. Okay. Now there's a diff another orientation for a mirror plane, and that's if I just rotate my crystal this way and I go diagonally through a face into a corner, and then along the edges. Okay, so that's one. I have another one going this way. So that's two. So now you can see that I have one, two, three, four planes going through this face. I have another two running through this face here. See what I mean about a lot of chalk marks? It tends to get confusing. That's why you want to make sure you have paper nearby and you're keeping track. There's another one. Okay, so that one's full. Oh, over here, I missed two here as well. Now you'll see because a cube is highly symmetrical, we have the exact same type of mirror planes bisecting our crystal repeatedly. 
and one in here as well. And that's because the cube is of the isometric system. And therefore, it's highly symmetrical. You're going to expect to find lots of different symmetry elements. OK, that's our last one. So how many did we have? Well, we had the first three. Those are the ones running through our faces. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And those are the ones running diagonal. So we would say that a cube has 9m. So we just found, figured out that our cube has nine total mirror planes and two are unique. They're unique because they're, one is running through the face and then across an edge and then the other one is bisecting the face on a diagonal and then running along an edge to a corner. Okay, so we have two unique types of mirror planes and nine mirror planes in total. I know I've exhausted it because I can see that all sides of my uh, crystal have all the face or the mirror planes marked on it. I can't start bisecting in any other way because mirror planes must run through the middle of the crystal and all centers of the crystal have been run through.